Ken.com. What's cooking program weekend edition. I'm Michael Horn. That is Paul Stern, ladies and gentlemen. That uh, squeeze it uh, device over there for your pants. I don't know if you know this, but the history goes back to medieval times. They used to put guys on there for torture called the rack. Now you just stick your pants in there and it uh, expands them. If you listen carefully, and there's been research done with this, they've put microphones up to the uh, threads in there and the uh, cotton fibers, and you can actually hear them screaming as, uh, well, actually when the person puts the pants on and also when they're expanded out. Do you have any new products, Paul Stern? No, but Mike, uh, just, uh, for those of you that have been following along with today's program earlier, we mentioned the American Wine and Food Festival, the 28th annual, which will be taking place to uh, – uh, to support the uh, Meals on Wheels program. What's of, the date on that? That would be Saturday, September 25th, 2010, of course, at the, the Universal Studios back lot. That is the it's That's an the, event. Uh, the that, Wolfgang Puck event, isn't it? That is correct. Uh, celebrity chefs, uh, wine and spirit tastings. There's going to be a silent auction, uh, entertainment and such. So uh, uh, that is definitely an event to attend. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, don't we also talk with the lovely Barbara Lazarnoff when it comes time for the American Wine and Food Festival? Uh, I believe we do. Is she scheduled, Jack Roberts? Jack Roberts, of course, uh, producer of the show and host of the uh, early segment on the What's Cooking show. Is she scheduled to come on the show? Uh, uh, Jack is actually saying that we're scheduled to talk to Wolfgang Puck, but I hate to say this, and no offense That's to Wolfgang good. Puck, but at, the, at this stage in the game, I wouldn't mind talking to Barbara, if you know what I mean. I would like to talk to Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> Okay. It's okay. Okay, you can talk. You can hang with Wolf. That I'll hang with Barbara. That's your go. Wolf has done a lot in the food bizly. A lot of people help him out. We were talking this with the Opus people, and they say, "Hey, we help out a lot of his uh, charity events because he's done so much for us. He's got these great runs. Like Mario Batali, he's got these restaurants all over. Here's this guy who's Italian, born in Seattle, uh, goes to high school in, uh, you know, in uh, in Spain, and then ends up in uh, England. I don't know. Maybe he brought some good dishes to England because they usually don't have uh, wonderfully great, delicious food. You know, I hate to kind of even bring this up and even mention it, but yes. do you ever kind of wondered how maybe like the local independent proprietor, you know, the the independently owned restaurant kind of feels when a, a big name celebrity chef kind of comes on into town and gets all this attention? Like, what do you mean? Well, I mean, you know, when when a restaurant that's open that has the name Mario Batali or Wolfgang Puck associated with it, I imagine that. Uh, a lot of people that might have been frequently frequenting other restaurants would then all of a sudden have to try this latest, uh, almost a sensation of sorts. Oh, yeah, I think that's true. It can be in the name, you know, like uh, Chef Lupi has that restaurant called Number 3, and uh, that's a Mexican restaurant, a very good food over there, as I mentioned before. I think sometimes it's diff different attractions. Either the name of the chef can get you in, the name of the restaurant, the uh, quality items, that could be it. Now, speaking of uh, on the way in or out, that flight attendant, you know, that uh, uh, accused uh, the uh, the onboard antics on JetBlue. Apparently, uh, he's getting an evaluation or has been uh, in. And do we know what, how he came out of that evaluation? Is he nuts or uh, did they say he's okay? You know, he I went down the emergency chute grabbing the beer and everything. Yeah, was he Steven actually? I think, Slater. Yeah, I think it was actually. Was he let go by? Was it the was it JetBlue or did he actually quit? Well, they, that's a, that's another contention in the uh, oh. argument case oh. as to whether he quit or was let go. Uh, he's the defense team is now saying he was uh, uh, let go. They're saying he quit. So we'll see what happens on that. But he is getting a, an evaluation to see if he's all there because that was kind of scary, I'm sure, to the passengers on board the plane. Also, here's one from and only in Chattanooga, Tennessee, if we can mention this on the weekend edition. Uh, police there have accused a high school teacher of holding teenagers at gunpoint. Uh, this apparently after the teacher found that uh, they were ghost hunting in a Tennessee graveyard. Apparently the Hamilton County Sheriff said deputies went to the Shipley Cemetery. This is just outside of Chagan Chattanooga, by the way, uh, last week. And after complaint of shots fired, and they confiscated an assault rifle from uh, teacher Stacy Swallows. Um, several teens uh, there told deputies they had gone to the cemetery after reading a ghost story about it. They said they were leaving when uh, the, the Professor Swallows blocked the road with his vehicle, pointed the rifle at them, and told them to stay until police arrived. He uh, Apparently, uh, Professor Swallows teaches diesel mechanics at the high school there in uh, Sodzi Daisy, Tennessee, and he's being held on bond. I didn't know that. Apparently, teachers are using a different form of punishment. We used to have erasers thrown at us back in the day. Apparently, now... Now with these TV shows like Justified on there, some of the instructors using uh, full uh, automatic weapons. 
or our shotguns in this case. Interesting to see how the other half lives, isn't it, Paul Stern? Uh, quite interesting. Also, talk about the other half. Taking a look again at the good people over at Wadley's, uh, what is it, Wally's Wine and Spirits out of uh, Los Angeles, California. You famous got something looking. else going on there? Well, no, they what got other a lot clothes of, out do they have? No, it, it's kind of amazing, but the, they, they really do run the gamut. You know, they, they I mentioned earlier that they got a buck 99 uh, Beaujolais Nouveau that they seem to be trying to... And by the way, we assume the Beaujolais Nouveau is from 2009. It could be the 2008 or 2007. No, no, it's Check the no, year on the bottle. <laughs> it, it is indeed a 2009. But they also have wines such as a 2006 Chateau Haute Brion that uh, sells for uh, almost five hundred dollars. So they, Aubryon, really they got Aubryon for five hundred bucks. Yeah, regularly priced at seven hundred. Not to do a commercial for the good people over at Wallace. Maybe if the uh, the checkout guy's a little nearsighted, you can mix one of those in. With <laughs> the Stop it! Dollar ninety. Outrageous. Out, I can't believe that you said that. Mike, we're supposed to be professionals and here. here's one that's never worked for me before, but maybe some of you had luck for it. Because you, you tried that at Bethmo? You can look really serious and say, it was in the same pile, and so that, you know, because you think then it's a cutout or something of some kind. Don't, don't it was believe, there in the don't same. Believe it. Don't believe it. Don't it was in the same it was in the same pile of wine. That right, is finally, absolutely the most outrageous thing that I, people are going to actually. Work. People are going to actually take you seriously. And by the way, we had Rosh Hashanah, by the way, and they're saying now, and now's a chance for you to go and this weekend maybe. And uh, they've got a New York-based kosher wine society. And uh, they say, you know, sometimes these wines have a, a reputation for having sweetness or whatever. Uh, they're saying, no, that uh, some people have uh, started to find some good kosher wines. You might want to check through the kosher bin and check it out. It's kosher meal. Have one of those for you from CRN. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. <laughs> I have a kosher meal. Hounded by debt collection.